There's a new voter fraud investigation underway tonight in Hamilton County. It involves two sisters of charity, one who allegedly voted for another who died before the election. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee is here now with exclusive details of this story you'll see only on Nine. Tom? Well, Carol, Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters has sent this letter to Board of Elections Director Tim Burke saying there's probable cause to be believed that a criminal activity has occurred in the case of deceased voter Sister Rose Marie Hewitt. Sisters of Charity confirmed that Sister Rose Marie Hewitt died on October 4th last year. Board of Elections documents obtained in an open records request indicate she applied for an absentee ballot on September 11th, but it wasn't received until after she died. Hamilton County property records show she lived in this house on Neeb Road in Delhi Township, a residence she shared with Sister Marge Clues, Dean of Arts at the College of Mount St. Joseph. Prosecutor Joe Dieters says Sister Clues is being investigated as the person who sent in Sister Hewitt's ballot. The matter wasn't discovered until this report was received from Ohio Secretary of State John Houston saying that Sister Hewitt's ballot was voted after she died. Sisters of Charity President Joan Cook told me the organization is aware an investigation is in progress and is cooperating to the extent possible. Beyond that, she said, we are not in a position to comment because we respect their expertise in this matter. Now this comes as the Board of Elections getting ready to hold the second of two voter fraud hearings looking into people who allegedly voted more than once. This Friday's cases include Madisonville's Meloise Richardson, who admitted to me earlier that she voted twice but never intended to commit voter fraud. Clyde? All right, Tom, thanks.